Hey, and welcome to Hopcast. Thanks for drinking again, everybody. I'm Brad Chemlewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. And again, we're kicking with the IPAs. Oh my goodness. Gotta do it. There's nothing else on the shelves no. these days. I didn't so. see anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, IPA it is. Yeah. And so. local, for the most part, again. Uh, regional, regional, we'll say. Okay. So right. yeah, we've got you know Midwest Strong beer. Uh, we've got local here in the suburbs. We have some, uh, Solemn Oath, Kidnapped by Vikings, mm -hmm. which uh, everyone in this area knows is a pretty killer beer. And then we have a brewery out in, of St. Louis called Four Hands, and it's their Imperial... Uh, Warhammer, Imperial. Warhammer Imperial IPA. So we got the single and then the double. So we'll, yes. have, to, we'll have to work our way up, I guess, logically. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and we were commenting on this before the show uh, that both of these labels, labels are, are pretty damn pretty. Right. Pretty damn pretty. So uh, they've, they've done a nice work with the branding here. Yeah, and, selling most uh, stuff, you know, just their tap room and all their... All their stuff, their website, it's all great. Yeah, know? it all looks really, really, really uh, sharp. So, uh, not just about the beer. No, yeah. You got to present yourself. Yeah, look good. Yeah. Look good, feel good, that's what I always say. All right. Don't stop watching the show just because we mentioned Rick Wilt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll start drinking now. Okay. Let's do it. Well, I really like that color I poured out. It's almost clear but still a little hazy there yeah i got a little haze uh yeah it is kind of a nice nice color um <clears throat> goldeny yeah it's kind of like just gold. a hint of orange yeah almost like a marigold that's nice and we had a big head on there kind of went away yeah pleasant hop character not uh too over the top just kind of inviting tickles it a little bit yeah sweet but still dry Cheers. It's, it smells good. It smells real good. Mm. Now, I've had this beer before, and I'm always a fan of it. It's a damn good beer. It's um, it's not one that's gonna just blow you away. It's just, you know, and I I think that's a good thing. We need to get back to breweries making just beers that are that you can drink. Yeah, they're just like <laughs> really really nice to drink. And uh, the hop character on this is just really, really inviting. It's uh, one that you just, you want to drink more and more and more. Uh, it finishes like a little dry, but also it's refreshing at the same time. So mm -hmm. you keep going back. It's nice. Yeah, I think it, I think it's quite dry. And um, not to say that there's there's not a malt character, because there, there certainly is. And it, it's one of those beers that really has a nice balance between the two. You get kind of almost a toasty character from the malt. And uh, it's playing nicely with that citrus, a little bit of pine mm -hmm. uh, from the hops. But uh, man, this is this is good drinking right here. Yeah. And so this comes in at what six percent, seven percent, six percent. So right there in line with, I guess, a lot of IPAs you see. Yeah. Uh, and these guys uh, just recently started packaging their beer in bottles. So that's that's a nice welcome addition to the family there. Right, and they're about to celebrate their two year anniversary, right? There's like a, a yeah shot tickets or something about their party coming up. Kind of seems uh, yeah they're gonna have a uh, Oath Day, so it sounds like their their new annual type event um, should be a lot of fun out in uh, Naperville Naperville area. Mm -hmm. Took a or you didn't join us for that, but we took a ride out there. It's a it's a long ride, long bike ride. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a long car ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can definitely hit it up on your bike if you're going from the city. The Prairie Path goes almost all the way there. Mm -hmm. It's a really easy ride. And then train back if you need to. If you need to. <laughs> <laughs> but you they can't have a bring it. they got a two beer limit at the tap room. Mm -hmm. So is that a legal thing? Or two beer maximum, not limit. Or, yeah, that's a limit. Maximum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, max. Two beer max. <laughs> You have to drink too. <laughs> <laughs> they have a stand-up comic a comic in the corner. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, but they have like uh, I think what three or four beers in the bottle. I think kidnapped, maybe ravaged by Vikings, which I 
think I want to say is the double IPA. Mm -hmm. and I think you're right. Some, something else as well. Or butterfly kisses, maybe. Mm -hmm. That was your uh, wedding beer, correct? Right. They gave us a keg for the wedding. So, yeah. Definitely great guys out there. Yeah, they're, uh, they're a good cast of folks. So, uh, drink their beer because it's excellent and... Because, you know, you're supporting a good bunch of dudes. And ladies. They got quite a few uh, uh, ladies okay. over there, too. I think we'll have no problem finishing off this bottle mm -hmm. before we get even drunker drinking the double IPA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but certainly visit our friends uh, Salomo. Pick up their beer. Cheers. want some more kidnapped by vikings <laughs> i feel like i drink that all night yeah but uh yeah let's check out four hands uh been out to the brewery a couple times and definitely had their beer up here in chicago now because we can get it here yeah and i definitely want to hear more for this and i want to hear about them because you've been out there a few times yeah yeah their beer is, is good so we're in for a treat good. again with the ipas we've been drinking this evening, I feel like they continually get a little clearer. <laughs> yeah, this one has just a touch more clarity than the uh, Kidnapped by Vikings. And this is the Warhammer from Four Hands. It feels like you're looking through like you're underwater. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you can make out stuff, but it's not clear. Yeah, and up against this li the light, this, this beer is uh, very pretty. Um, similar color. Uh, yeah. to the kidnap of Vikings, maybe a touch on the lighter. darker side. Oh, really? I, I cool. thought it was a little darker. Mm, a little lighter. Mm. Agree to disagree. But bigger head. <laughs> we got a bigger head from that. Yeah, I'm a little bit more long-lasting. <laughs> uh, Give a sniff. Ah. Pleasant. You can tell that there's a little bit more malt body in here. Um, bigger IPA. Mm -hmm. Pleasant hop character. Doesn't smell too bitter. I guess that's a aroma I, I guess you expect to find from IPAs and Imperials. It's, it's bright and fresh. Yeah, and it's got a little toast from the malt, too. So this is a little bit, I think, more complex where it's not just all hops screaming at you. Mm -hmm. They're going, um, you know, especially for an Imperial IPA, a little bit more balance between the two ingredients there. Well, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Got a little bit of kick. Yeah, you can tell it's a big beer, but it's um, certainly nicely nicely done, very balanced, uh, playing real nicely between the, the malt and the hops. Uh -huh. uh, it's definitely like sweeter and almost more, yeah, more candy-like than the Kidnapped by Vikings, as you would expect. Yeah, definitely. Being, what, 9%? Yeah, it's a, it's a hefty kick. Yeah, 9%. Uh, but it's got like a, a nice biscuit-like character from, from the malt. Which you usually don't see from IPAs. It's just all about the hops. Um, <clears throat> I tend to like my IPAs where they just let the hops do their thing. Uh, if I'm going to have it where there is some malt character, I like it like this where it's just a light touch of it. And uh, not, not too heavy, not too dark as specialty malts. So okay. I appreciate this beer. So you've been to Four Hands a few times. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Who are, who are they? Who, uh, who is the who are these four hands? <laughs> I could I couldn't tell you where they got their name, um, but four hands out in St. Louis, as we as we mentioned, the the head brewer over there is Will Johnston, who came from uh, Goose Island amongst a few others, so okay. kind of familiar with him as well as uh, Phil down there in St. Louis to, at Perennial. Oh, right. Both kind of ventured down to uh, the next town, kind of southwest, and started their own breweries uh, so they're doing they're doing a lot of cool things what I like about four hands is they're doing balanced beers like this they have a really nice chocolate milk stout called muhu and as you could expect with people who, that leave goose uh, they're doing quite a bit of barrel aging okay so they've got some sour beers and some bourbon beers and uh, they're all really damn good so okay. do they have a like it's a brew pub or tap room like what is it they i mean i guess it's technically a brew pub because they do have food i think of it more of a, as a tap room because it's more like you know small little pizzas and then they have uh 
stuff you know, like charcuterie my, plates. Stuff to put in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit <laughs> better. I mean, their their food is not bad. Actually, it's it's quite quite good, but it's a very limited menu. It's not like uh, a bunch of tables, and you would go in there for the food. You're okay. definitely there for the beer, and then they have nice food as well. Okay. So, uh, yeah, small space for sure, and uh, and you can look over the bar and see right into the brewery, which is okay. nice. Um, so it is a production facility first and foremost, but they do have a nice tap room attached to it, okay. and uh, they play around with a lot of a lot of cool stuff there. So if you're if you're in St. Louis, uh, check them out. Check out Perennial. Check out Urban Chestnut. They're all, all right. doing some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and then we just got their beers here in Chicago. So yeah, they've been doing a lot of events around town too. Mm-hmm. So Will Will Johnston, the brewer there, I, I see that on the social medias that he's always up here in Chicago for one event or another whether it be bangers and lace or wherever, wherever they're sure. at so yeah it's nice to you know i hadn't really had much of their stuff and when i was in st louis i think i went to urban chestnut and maybe another place but didn't make it to four hands it was like mm-hmm. an overnight trip you can only go to so many breweries in <laughs> one night <laughs> yeah and they're not, the the cool thing about four hands are really not that far from like the downtown area mm-hmm. so it's a nice little getaway so nice well a couple great ipas here yeah both these breweries you should find more of their stuff and drink more of it yeah they're they're all pumping out not not just these beers but a lot of other great beers too so these are definitely uh some of the better breweries that we have out here in the midwest check them out and now it sounds like four hands too but some oath they're not all bottling everything so definitely Mm -hmm. get a growler and check out the brew pubs absolutely cheers and thanks for watching the hopcast cheers